If this is your first time hearing about Descript, it will probably blow your mind. It's an audio and video editing application that allows you to edit like you would a Word document. So when you delete words from your transcript, it also deletes it from the timeline and you can watch the waveforms disappear. It's really magic stuff. It also has a bunch of AI stuff incorporated into it, including something called the Underlord that promises some pretty amazing things like automatically removing all the filler words from your episodes or your videos, automatically editing it for clarity. And while the technology is not perfect yet, the promise is pretty astounding. There's also a standout feature called Studio Sound that with a click of a button applies a combination of cool audio processing effects on your voice like compression, EQ, and noise reduction. Descript also normalizes your audio so really after pressing that Studio Sound button, your audio will be broadcast ready. So it would take me many videos to cover all of the amazing creative things you can do in Descript with a video podcast specifically, but I wanted to jump into the computer in this video and really just give you the quick start tour with that footage I made of me driving in the car before this. If you haven't downloaded Descript for your computer yet, go to podsoundschool.com slash Descript and you can get the free version of Descript so that you can follow along with this video. I could tell you once you watch the demonstration that I'm about to give you, even if you're someone who considers yourself tech challenged, we can wipe the excuses clean off the table because you, my friend, are going to be launching that video podcast and you're going to be having a lot of fun editing it. And if you're interested in our editing program for podcasters to really edit like a pro, make sure you check the description box below. All right, you have Descript downloaded. We always start here at the home page or the projects window. We can go ahead and select new project in the top right corner and choose video project. Here we are in a blank project and it really is as simple as just dragging footage in here. I'm going to navigate to that scene of me in the car and just drop it in there. And Descript gets to work right off transcribing it. And while it's transcribing it, it gives me the opportunity to add speaker labels. If there's more than one speaker, it'll help me to detect the speakers within the footage. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Steven here and say, add Steven as speaker and choose done. And after a few moments, the transcription is complete. And you can now just click into this like you would a Word document, press spacebar for play, and start watching the footage. Notice this button in the bottom left-hand corner says show timeline. And when we click on that, we see a timeline here with the traditional waveforms along a timeline that you're used to seeing in a digital audio workstation or a video editing app. What I especially love about this timeline here is that you can actually grab the words from the timeline and drag them over to the left, which will close the gap and do a really cool intuitive editing motion that way. So the true power that you can unlock when you edit in Descript is by utilizing a combination between transcript editing up here and timeline editing down here. So now right off the bat, you can see some obvious places for me to edit. There's this space here in the beginning before I actually start. Also, it looks like it took me a few takes to actually get to the right take. And you can just by reading say, so our last video, so our last video. So I'll just find the last instance of me saying this and delete everything before it simply by highlighting that part of the script and pressing delete. You'll notice that it also deleted down here in the timeline. This is incredible because I didn't even listen to it and I was able to immediately make an informed editing decision. Now let's go ahead and listen to it and really pay attention to the audio. And then we're gonna add the studio sound and you can hear what the studio sound does to the audio after the fact. So our last video on this channel, Veronica showed you how you could use the Osmo Pocket 3 with a podcast microphone to podcast anywhere you want. Okay, and now I can apply the studio sound. You'll notice that Descript will actually default now as the Underlord being open. There are all these tools along the right-hand side and we'll explore a few more of them in just a moment. But the Underlord tool is the first one that comes selected in Descript. And that's for a reason. It's pretty awesome. You can type in anything here and Underlord will help you in text form. It's kind of like a little mini chat GPT assistant right here inside Descript. But you'll notice this section right here says sound good. And under this section, we have studio sound. We click on studio sound and that's it. And we can listen back to it with the studio sound. Now, the video right now is a little laggy because I'm also in the middle of a screen recording at the same time. But let's take a look. So our last video on this channel, Veronica showed you how you could use the Osmo Pocket 3 with a podcast microphone to podcast anywhere you want. It's been leveled out, normalized. A lot of that noise in the car has been reduced and it is broadcast ready, all with the click of a button. Hi, I thought I would interrupt this video since you're so interested in starting your own video podcast to invite you to my program, Smart and Simple Video Podcasting. 
You will gain the skills to confidently produce and distribute your show to podcast players and YouTube. You will use practical tools, easy to follow workflows, so you can record your video podcast right there in your office. So I hope you can join me. Go to podcastingsmart.com slash SSVP, smart and simple video podcasting. Okay, now back to Steven. And now we can go through this and do a first pass edit. And like I said, that's using a combination between the transcript editing up here and the timeline editing down here. So I can already see, again, without even listening to this, that I say, and a few videos before, and then right here, and a few videos before. So that's my next line. So I could just grab this one right here and pull it all the way over to where the next line should come in, go back in time, and check my incision. And a few videos before that, I showed you how you could plug a podcast microphone into your smartphone. So, so that's your basic editing, your basic first pass editing. But now Descript has a bunch of really cool tools when you're ready to add that final shine. Remember I said we were gonna revisit the tools along the right here? Well, first I'd like to look at the bottom half. We have elements where we have titles, subtitles, progress bars, annotations, overlays, and frames. We also have a captions button where we can instantly drop some very popular caption styles right on top of our video by one click. Now my video has captions. So our last video on this channel, Veronica. And I can further customize the captions by clicking on them in this video panel here. And I have effects, animation. I can change the color, obviously the text size. And then under captions, we have the stock button where we have stock videos, GIFs, images, backgrounds, all under the visuals. And then also under the audio tab, we have music and sound effects. Truly everything you need to get going with video production all in one place. And when it comes time to start grabbing little highlights out of your podcast episode and prepare those highlights for your vertical clips that you can share on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, well, we can create new compositions within this one project. I can click on the name of the project up here, and really I should rename this project to something better. I can click on Morning Drive with Steven right here and look, new composition. What this will do is open up a new composition in the same project. And here I can name this to Highlight Reel. And now I could just click on the highlight reel drop down here and I'll see my morning drive with Steven main project. And now as I edit, I can just grab chunks from this project by copying and pasting control or command C like you would in a Word document and then navigate to my new highlight reel and simply command V as in Victor or control V on a PC to paste. And look at that. And now I can switch the dimensions of this so I can really start editing this little highlight for social media by clicking on this little icon up here. Notice when we hover over it, it says aspect ratio and video settings. And here I can just change it to portrait. And now I can actually click on any element that I have inside here. There is an option right here to fill canvas. We could just fill the canvas. I can make my captions a little bit bigger. I can also also choose a different caption style, maybe for the short videos, if I don't like this caption style. And you've got all your equipment and that's great and everything, but, and I'm just barely scratching the surface of what you can do with Descript. So get in there and try it for free. Again, you can go to podsoundschool.com slash Descript to download Descript. And make sure you check the description of this video below where I will leave the details for our podcasters editing program, where you can learn how to edit video podcasts professionally and quick for your own podcast. And in the theme of video podcasting and just starting out, we have this whole playlist right here with a ton of resources from gear to strategy, really everything you need to finally get off the ground with a great video podcast.